Hey, what's going on there, guys? Earthmaster here. It is November 19th, 2017, 3 18 p.m. And uh, just a short time ago, I had a pretty large earthquake in the Loyalty Islands region. Uh, this is coming off of a uh, 7.3. I believe they downgraded it a little bit. Uh, the USGS, that is. I'll go ahead and take a look at the, uh, a different website right here and show you guys the uh, exact magnitude according to the USGS. They have it at a 7.0, this big red one down here, followed up by a 5.1 aftershock, but 7.1 or 7.0, pretty big earthquake. Originally it was a 7.3. Uh, there is a tsunami threat localized for that region. Um, you can see the threat being in the purple coloring. So definitely, uh, um, I'm sure they've had quite a, quite a bit of advanced warning within that region uh due to that earthquake there uh, as far as like uh getting the notifications out for the people i um, also like to check this site right here and get a an update on it um, from these guys let's go ahead and check this out here real quick in the uh, text so you can see right here uh, magnitude is reduced to 7.0 it was originally a 7.3 So based on all available data, hazardous tsunami waves are possible or are forecast for some coast. Tsunami waves reaching 0.3 to 1 meter above the tide level are possible for some coast. In the New Caledonia region, uh, tsunami forecasts waves less than 0.3 meters above the tide for the Vanuatu region. As far as uh, anything in Hawaii or anywhere else, it looks like the threat is uh, non-existent there, so which is a good thing. Uh, definitely don't want to see any kind of uh, tsunamis hitting out here. But yeah, definitely a good size earthquake. Um, it just coincides with the amount of earthquakes that we've been seeing over the past couple days. Uh, just a huge increase uh, in this specific region uh, prior to the 7.0 today we've seen lots of fives you know including a 6.6 .6 there all within the same area and that was just uh, just a little bit ago there But just a large multitude of uh, earthquakes confined in that one spot right there. The West Coast remains rather eerily quiet. Um, if you watched some of my videos last night, you did see uh, uh, some kind of cracks in the ground. Deep, rather deep cracks. I was checking out a little bit earlier and uh, they're at least five feet deep. Uh, cracks in the backyard and uh, Okay, that's coming off of a uh, 5.1 it looks like within the same region there um, But yeah getting back to the cracks they're definitely uh, deep cracks in the yard out there and somebody said that it's um, due to uplift in the ground uh, which could very well make sense there um, as we are just right over the uh, subduction region so this area where I'm at seems to be getting pushed up from underneath uh, creating some of these cracks that we're seeing out here so just kind of eerie and unnerving to say the least but you can see the P waves being traveled across the globe uh, following that large 7.0 earthquake um, so hopefully, uh, you know, no tsunami did reach over there, although there was a warning for that area. Um, hopefully everyone got to, uh, safety over there. Alright guys, uh, peace out. We'll go ahead and get this video up on YouTube. 
and uh, keep an eye on the rest of the globe and issue any more videos if uh, we need to out here. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a uh, great weekend out there. Enjoy the rest of your weekend or uh, today's Saturday. So we still got one more day. All right, guys. Peace. Peace out. Well, actually, what's today? Sunday? Mm -hmm. Today's Sunday. I'm behind the day. So today's Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And uh, we'll talk. Get you all later.